right. That didn't take long. <laughs> Eddie Hearn sues Andy Ruiz and his promoter for we don't know what because it is sealed. But the records are out there. Andy Ruiz is being sued by Eddie Hearn. And I'm laughing, dog, because I swear these dudes keep reporting this news. And I just said I will believe it when I see it. And <laughs> this happens. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And also I wanna thank you, thank everybody that supports in the Super Chat, everybody that supports on the Patreon and the Cash App. You guys are really what makes the channel go, uh, go around. A Weapons, show up to the live stream, my man. I had, your, I had your logo ready to go. We was gonna get it done. So let's talk about this. Mike Coppinger, man, I got my phone out here for this one because I can't see it on the screen, dude. But Paul Gift at MMA Analytics on Twitter. Shout out to the people in my chat that let me know about this. And also shout out to the channel that reported to this and uh, and let the subscribers bring it to me. He said, I thought everything was settled, but it sure looks like Matchroom Boxing is suing Andy Ruiz and TGB Promotions. Contract suit, uh, excuse me, contract suit filed today in New York and the complaint to be sealed. Then it was the docket number uh, 97, excuse me, 19C729921. And that, my friends, if you look it up, it says Matchroom Boxing Limited versus TGB Promotions LLC et al., which means and others. And it was filed in a 109 contract slash other contract. So that's the type of suit. And cause diversific diversity action. One, three, three, two, Diversity action. The parties are Andres Ponce Ruiz, sounds like Andy Ruiz to me, defendant TGB Promotions LLC, plaintiff Matchroom Boxing Limited, represented by John S. Klemer of Debo Voice and Plimpton LLP, New York City. Now, <laughs> I find this absolutely hilarious. I'm looking on my screen a little bit. You guys have to put it up for this video. Um, the thing that is fun, diversification system is uh, diversification, diversity of citizenship, amount in controversy, costs. I guess I could look a little bit more into what that means, but whatever the case is, uh, Eddie Hearn is suing Andy Ruiz. Now, the thing that I find funny about this is I just did a video earlier this morning after Mike Coppinger and Dan Rayfield. Mike Coppinger and Dan Rayfield, when are you going to learn? When are you going to learn about reporting sources of Eddie Hearn doing, doing something that makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> like agreeing to give Andy Ruiz a s extra money and Vada testing and all these things that were going to come through made us. It, it sounded like it made sense. Right. You know, and Eddie Hearn doing something that sounds like right. But now the next day he files a lawsuit in New York against Andy Ruiz and his promoter. I don't see Al Heyman named in this. But there might be some way that he's connected to it. It just doesn't say it just doesn't say his, na his name as an advisor. Um, yeah, man. It doesn't look like the fight's popping off in Saudi Arabia. Anthony, they said that they were waiting uh, the reports. Oh, my God, man. Can I call them reports? Man, what are you guys doing, man? I said in my video... I believe it when I see it. 
because this doesn't make sense for for Eddie Hearn to do something that sounds too much like right. The dude is going to try to shove down the throat of Andy Ruiz, the shove this fight down the throat of Andy Ruiz. And he thinks he's going to be able to force a U.S. citizen to go over to Saudi Arabia to fight. Now, maybe it's this, this dude's pride. I don't know what it is. But and when he was seen real ticked off yesterday, this being Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn was real ticked off yesterday where Bob, when he was talking about how Bob Arum said, well, you know, in response to Bob Arum saying that Andy Ruiz had him by the testicles, he said <laughs> that it's it's rubbish that the U.S. that the United States says you can't go to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Nobody said that the U.S. said that that Andy Ruiz couldn't go, but that Andy Ruiz, if it's a if it's a code two travel advisory, Andy Ruiz might feel righteously rightfully nervous for his own security heading over there. And what U.S. court is going to enforce that? But hey, don't listen to the Harvard educated attorney who's been had experience who's had experience in boxing for the last 50 years. Listen to Eddie Hearn. Man, I, I'm actually kind of happy about this. And the reason why I'm happy is is um I'm happy for two reasons. One, I don't want to see I don't want to see the fight in Saudi Arabia, where there's no women, you can't sip on nothing. You're going to show up there and all you're going to go to the church and Saudi rape from what I can see is a gigantic church. <laughs> Why somebody want to go see a fight there, man? So I don't want to see I don't want the fight to go there. I'd rather have the fight be in New York just in case I want to go see Anthony Joshua get knocked down four times and quit again. I'm really mad that I missed it the first time and I'm mad about it for the first time that I missed it the first time because of actions like this from from, from um, Eddie Hearn. Dude, Eddie Hearn has got to be one of the most bullheaded, arrogant uh, <laughs> dudes that I've seen in the sport of boxing. But I'm also laughing because Mike Coppinger and Dan Rayfield keep running with these leads and have been wrong. Mike Coppinger specifically has been wrong every step of the way. Every step of the way. <laughs> And I don't think he's going to stop. I think he's going to be just like Eddie Hearn and keep on and keep on running with it. Andy Ruiz has no business going to Saudi Arabia for a boxing match. You don't have you don't they don't have a boxing commission. There is no way for them to to be feel safe about whether or not Andy Anthony Joshua is going to be entering the ring under the influence of performance enhancing drugs. They not the the selection of the referees and the and the judges. You know they're going to be funny. All of those things that they said that Eddie Hearn agreed to just doesn't sound like something Eddie Hearn would agree to. Eddie Hearn is going to agree that a, that a, to a referee that has what do they say forty championship forty years of uh, forty championship fight experience. Eddie Hearn's going to agree to that. Eddie Hearn wants somebody that's going to give Andy Ruiz, going to give Anthony Joshua every benefit of the doubt. Also, he's going to he's going to agree to the extra expense of Vita testing when this might be a cash out fight for Anthony Joshua. None of it, none of it made sense, man. None of it made sense. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. I don't like this fight in Saudi Arabia for Andy Ruiz. I don't like that. And I don't like the fight in, uh, in Saudi Arabia for Anthony Joshua. The truth of the matter is, dude, that Anthony Joshua shouldn't even be taking this fight. Anthony Joshua should, it would be smarter going the route that, that Louis, that, um, excuse me, Lennox Lewis took after he lost to Oliver McCall. You fight a couple other guys that have good, you know, that are good fighters that allow you to get your com your confidence back, confidence back. You do it somewhere that you feel very comfortable. You do it. You feel very comfortable. You get your confidence back. Then you go back and you get the belts back and try to you know, do it the way that Lennox Lewis did it. But having him just jump out there, fight Andy Ruiz in a rematch again like that, it just doesn't make sense. All the way around, dude, Eddie Hearn has been just screwing from what I can see. Completely screwing up this, screwing up this rematch deal, man. And the and the sad thing about it is that you know contracts aside, their agreement aside, 
Andy Ruiz is the champion, man. Andy Ruiz is the guy that beat Anthony Joshua on terms that were laid out by Anthony Joshua. I don't see why he should have to bend over backwards for Anthony Joshua and, and Eddie, really Eddie Hearn. This doesn't even seem like Eddie Hearn really cares too much about what Anthony Joshua wants, wants. But just let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I think this debacle is hilarious. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Peace.